clearing up after two 500-pound bombs. They were dropped in the town centre in the early evening when everyone was out on the street. A miracle, only three were killed. One man was standing right here. He was blown to smithereens. Since throwing out the Assad regime's security forces in August, airstrikes have hit the people of Al Bab almost daily. They have little to defend themselves with. But this time, they claim they used their Kalashnikovs to shoot down the MiG that bombed the town that day, with its pilot alive. He'd tried to escape, he'd fought with his captors, but now he was in the hands of rebel fighters. We had no way to establish exactly how he'd been treated before we got there, or what kinds of pressure he was under, but we wanted to hear his story. Did you understand, when you were bombing Al-Bab last night, that you were bombing civilians? No, no. no, they told us there were armed terrorist groups there and Al-Bab was empty of civilians. Why did you believe this? Our commanders told us this and we can't see anything on the ground and we don't go outside the airbase. What targets were you told to hit with your bombs? Houses where the armed groups were hiding. All the houses were concealing men with weapons. Who do you think you are fighting? Libyans, Afghans and Chechens. The phrase, I was only following orders, came up more than once. Captain Brahim said he could only watch Syrian state TV. He had no other sources of information. Now he'd fallen into the middle of the town he'd bombed. How did it look? It's not like how we've been told. All the people here are Syrians. I told the pilot somewhere between 20 to 30,000 of his fellow Syrians were dead from the fighting. 250,000 refugees were outside Syria, millions displaced inside. This is all new information for me. This is the first time I've heard this information. Outside, Al-Bab's fighters and residents showed us some of the other weapons from the Russian-made MiG fighter. Rocket launchers and a heavy caliber cannon. Most think the pilot's innocence is feigned, a ploy to escape responsibility for his actions. That judgment lies with the people of Al-Bab. There are many more pilots like him, because the day after his capture, more Syrian Air Force jets were back to bomb the town. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Northern Syria.